Hey, my name is Sean Sean. I sell art on SeanSean.co, and today we're going to review artists react to Caro Arrivalo. So let's get into it, guys. If I sit down with cacao during this time, I also think nature, spirit, the universe. Right, so um, she does kind of a mixed channel. It's very interesting. Uh, this is uh, the first video we're looking at is her first six months as a full-time artist. It talks about kind of the transition from being a bartender to full-time artist. So let's get into it. It's been six months since I decided to quit my bartending job in order to pursue my art career full-time. In this video, I'm sharing with you a little bit of what these past six months have looked like. Every day looks different, but there's a daily routine I follow pretty much every day. Usually, I wake up in between 4.30 and 6.30 a.m. So I'll notice right off the bat, it has this nice kind of tell a story, you know, different views. She's getting out, of the, getting into breakfast ready, she's cleaning, she's doing her teeth. So it kind of gets a day in the life of. So that's very good. I think she's slightly off on her frame rate. Maybe she's saw 30 and she's moved it to 24. I'm not sure what the frame rate is, but the frame rate's off. It's a little jittery and it's because the frame rate's off. But it is a really good uh, storytelling. So let's keep going. Let's go by a little bit ahead. I make some breakfast, which varies from day to day. I clean the kitchen area. For some reason, I can't start my day off if the kitchen isn't tidy. So what I like about this is you get the real personality of the artist, uh, which most you don't get. Usually you just get kind of, here I paint, uh, here's my painting, and maybe they say a few words. Here she's physically showing, she eats kind of a healthy lifestyle, she practices yoga, she does meditation, so you get really into the depth of who she is, which also allows her to kind of um, connect much more with the audience. So people that like meditation probably like her art, people that like yoga probably like her art, uh, people like very tidy kitchens, very kind of tidy mindset is going to like her art. And so all those elements she's talking about is really personifying her and allowing her to get the ideal client to like her work, I think. After breakfast, I sit down for a little meditation and to set off the intentions for my day. Okay, let's go ahead a little bit. To keep it fresh. So she's an extreme exact type of painter, very detailed, uh, hard to replicate, so that's really good. So it's really nice, uh, she's doing this really nice zoom in and out from the shots. She does really high detail, like focus in on the food she's eating, focus in on the incense she's burning. Focus in on the detail of the painting, zoom out, you see her, zoom back in. So there's really a lot of great shots here to really build up on the B side using a lot of B roll, which is kind of your secondary camera. Your primary camera obviously is you see it in the kitchen, but then you get the details of the kitchen like, oh, I put a pot away, I clean a pot, the really high detail, and then focus back out into a different room. So that really adds a lot of flavor to this video. Let's go find a different video. So this next video is kind of a kind of a meditation recitation so again connecting her artwork to the symbolism behind the spiritual meaning behind it so it's really good kind of connection with the art so he really fully expresses the individual personality so let's just look at this So one of the cool things she's doing here, she's showing the beach scene and then she's flipping back to her apartment where she picks up the shells and then pick up some more shells. And so that kind of juxtaposition between the two different scenes kind of move this scene along. Otherwise it'd be very long, probably shooting the beach scene and then shooting the indoor scene, but you kind of flip back and forth. It creates a really nice vibe and really good uh, film editing, I would say. So you get the, again these really nice details where you show again the shells on the screen you have the candle again so you have the candle from the beach brought into the inside of the house you get a nice tablecloth so a very nice sample very nice visual she has a little hand tattoo so it adds a little more character as well 
Uh, that's probably unintentional, but it just kind of reflects her art as well. And you have her writing kind of a diary, what she's thinking about and her thoughts. So it has this really great setup here as far as, you know, making a video that's not really about art, but it, it enhances her view of art by showing her different connection and her different values in life. All right, for the third video, we're gonna look at her uh, pens. She's looking at um, a product review of pens. So let's check that out. All right, for this video, we're going to check out her one of her product reviews. It's a uh, pens, so let's look at those. When it, when comes, it comes to pens, pens I, think I think of two big, big groups, groups, reusable, reusable and, disposable and disposable ones. ones. I, use I use both types, types for different, different situations. situations. Disposable pens. So you can see again, she's starting out with kind of the overall view of her whole studio with her pen set up and the brush set up, and then you kind of zoom in, just showing the pens across the table. And then next we'll see kind of her zoom into the table, She into the pens, you can actually go from the broad studio to just the pen selection and then just a one single pen. I usually, I usually go, go with Micron. Micron. They have, they a, have variety a variety of widths of including brush like, like pens. Their, their tips, tips are made out of gel. gel. I love I using love these during my commute as their, their tips, tips won't break, break due to movement. movement. I, also I also take, take them to... So again you can see with the shell she's kind of pulling in that from the other videos how she's connected to the beach and the spirituality of the beach into her art so it has a really great framing of you know drawing and art and what are you basing that off of oh i have seashells right here i have the beach right there right so it really pulls in the viewer tells a good story and i was also as well as the pattern in the background kind of this floral um it's probably just a tablecloth but it kind of adds that extra punch of color that she's kind of putting into her art so take them to the beach as they resist rough textures like sand and humidity we also have reusable pens, which have body parts, including a cartridge you can refill. But it's a one-time purchase, and it's better for the environment using the same pens several times. Their metal tip is great as it can reach very small sizes. Size and shape doesn't change over time. With reusable pens, you need to be careful that the ink inside the metal pipes doesn't get clogged. Shaking the pen during the use is a must to avoid this, as well as cleaning them deeply quite often. A great feature is... So it's pretty cool. She walks how to use the pen, how you have these refillable versions, and then she's going to have a compass, and you can add a pen on a compass and get a really perfect circle, which is always scratching my head, like, how do you do a perfect circle? And I'm like, yeah, duh, buy a compass, jackass. <laughs> Like I painted my, my Mars paintings like freehand. It's like, uh, 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 and I'm like, what am I doing? You know, it's like, oh, duh, just use a compass. And I think I kind of use a compass, but for some reason it didn't work well. I think maybe I cut it wrong or I don't know. Anyway, this <laughs> you properly do a circle as an artist. That they can be mounted to a compass. Pens comes with special grids and a mounting tool is provided by the brand when bought in sets. This is one of my favorite tools. Both types of pens are great, but as said, each of them works better under special circumstances. Thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments below what other videos you'd like to see. Thank you. So that's really good. She ends the video, kind of um, shows her Instagram token, so you can know where to find her art on her Instagram. And all her videos are kind of focused on the full circle uh, around her art, but not necessarily that much on the art. So it has kind of like her meditation, her yoga, she does kind of a beach meditation and she's doing a product review. So kind of around the art, but not necessarily just painting videos um, per se. So it's really nice, kind of gives a fuller version of what surrounds the art, the artist's life and how she develops her craft. So it's really kind of really good story building, um, the tools she uses as well as, you know, how she's getting there from being a bartender. Um, so it has a really good story build. She's doing very good videos, obviously. Uh, there is a little bit of a glitch with the frame rate. It's a little off. I think it's maybe she's recording one in 30 and one in 24 or something. And there's something not matching up between the exposure rate and the frame rate. So she can look at that. That's only the only flaw I really see. Really good, nice, soft music. She talks really evenly. So you got a really nice sound to that as well. So overall, I rate her pretty good. I would just definitely check out her channel. It's only like 30, 30 videos maybe but she's got like 10,000 or more per view so she's really hitting out of the park with high quality videos um, so hopefully you guys like that see me on the next artist reaction thanks for watching guys